In the test box, we have a resistor R, an inductor L, and a capacitor C. I've set my multimeter into resistance mode. And firstly, I'm going to measure the resistance of the resistor and record this in my lab book, 10 kilo ohms, plus or minus 0.01 kilo ohms. Next, I'm going to disconnect these leads and connect them across pins two and three to measure the resistance of the inductor and record this in my lab book, 488.9 plus or minus 0.1 ohms. Now I'm going to disconnect this and switch my multimeter into AC, so we're using an AC signal. And now I'm going to connect the power supply across pins one and three to build the RL circuit. I'm going to switch on the power supply and connect these leads to pins one and two to measure the voltage drop across the resistor and record that in my lab book, 11.07 plus or minus 0.01 volts. And I'm going to do the same to measure the voltage drop across the inductor. Yeah. And that's 5.84 zero plus or minus, say, 0 0.05 volts. Now I'm going to switch off the circuit and disconnect all of the cables. Now to build the RC circuit, I'm going to put the power supply across pins one and four and use another lead to short circuit the inductor across pins two and three. So now we have our RC circuit. And once again, I'm going to connect the multimeter to measure the voltage drop across the resistor in one and two, and the capacitor in three and four, and the combination in one and four. Finally, I'm going to remove the short circuit. And I have an RLC circuit. And once again, measure the voltage drop across one and two for the resistor two and three for the inductor, three and four for the capacitor, and one and four for the combination. You can use these results to calculate all of the quantities specified in your lab manual and draw the phasor diagrams where necessary.